Hello guys, so this is the part two of the cloud formation video um, lesson and this is um, the list of uh, we will have three different templates that we'll be deploying one by one and I'll try to briefly uh, well I'll try my best to explain as much as I can in this brief video um, so first of all we will be deploying a S3 uh, template that is super simple. I can show you the template. This is this is the template. Literally, this is the template. And you know, like there's no point in using a cloud formation just to create a bucket. But I just wanted to get started. You know, it's just we're we're trying to build up. So I think this is a good way to start. And after this, we 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 have EC2 that is a bit more complex than. The S3 and then VPC has a lot more going on so um, first of all I'm going to use the console to uh, deploy the the stack okay so um, um, so well first of all I'm going to use the uh, the terminal to deploy stack and what I do now this is uh, a Mac terminal. Uh, you can do this on a Linux too. If you have Windows, then you might want to install uh, AWS CLI. Uh, I have the tutorial for Linux and Mac systems. Um, I might make one for Windows very soon. But if you don't have Windows, then um, you know just to practice provision a Linux instance in AWS, and you can try it from there. Just give the role to execute cloud formation on the EC2 instance and you can you, you can do this. Um, okay, so what we will do is AWS uh, cloud formation. Well first of all I need to um, CD into the um, into the the folder so CD desktop slash my my AWS course uh, uh, cloud formation templates CD S3 um, so CD S3 oops CD S come on okay um, so we are in the folder that's right here I'm inside this folder and I want to do AWS cloud formation um, create stack okay so double dash stack name I'm gonna say stack name is my bucket and um, template body is file and and I don't know what's the name of the file s3 bucket.json okay so s3 oops there we go so I just created a stack okay I just created a stack it was that simple so what I did to review was um, AWS now you have to have your AWS CLI installed on your terminal on your machine so you do that by pip install AWS CLI or if you use the Amazon Linux AMI that's on um, uh, you know Amazon Linux uh, EC2 then you already have this I think uh, so just to review AWS cloud formation create stack double dash stack name my bucket is the name I want to give you can put this as anything you want uh, template body and file and the name of the file so you know make sure you have this um, if you you can only do this if you are deploying from the same folder if not you have to give the absolute path so we have a stack we have that stack and let's go on to the console and check um, our our stack and what what happened okay so I'm gonna go to I'm gonna search for cloud formation Um, there we go so my bucket um, create complete which means it was successful uh, so the name of 
I'm gonna go to my EC, I mean my S3 and check for that uh, bucket that we created. It was a simple stack and like I said, you know, it doesn't make sense to create a stack by just one bucket from a template but it was just an example. So um, I'm gonna check for the right uh, right bucket that I just created um, and today is October 30th and this is the stack that I created. So I don't have anything but this, this was just a demo. And you can see my bucket um, uh, this is the name of the, the bucket that was created um, and that's it guys this is the first example now we want to go and check out the second example which is EC2 now this has a lot more going on compared to the first example um, so I think this is okay so um, not much, you know, just a bit more as I will go over everything. So template version, like I said in the f the first part of the video, you just put this here, it's not so important. It's here it's saying that this template version I'm using is from this date. We only have one template version so far, so this is really not that important unless we have another template version come out and we need to make sure, um, you know, to we have to when it, yeah, it is only re relevant then that we want to use the name new version or the old version but for now it's optional you can put it or you cannot put it your choice uh, put it for the best practice description I know just for my reference deploy a simple Amazon Linux instance and, uh, and allow SSH connectivity parameters now like I said in the first part of the video um, uh, I'm gonna create this stack with uh, with the default cloud form key this is the key that I have in the same folder as I'm as this file and I'll be um, uh, you know I'll be well I, I, um, I, I don't think I need the key there but anyways um, uh, you know I, I still have the key in there and this is only the name okay so just let, let's start from here yeah, ignore what I said right now don't we don't need the key to be in the same folder okay we we just want to say that the key name is by default cloud form key and if we didn't have this line uh, what we what the the, the stack will uh, ask us is for the the name of the key so we can I, i'll quickly demo with and without the default value but let's move on resources is the main part of this template this is the part where we say we want to create a simple instance this is the name I gave I can I could name it simple instance one I'm just gonna leave it as simple instance the type is AWS EC2 instance now this is the naming convention AWS uses to describe the resource I'm saying that I want to create an EC2 instance uh, properties key name ref key name Okay, so what I could have what 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 I could have done is uh, I could have just said just like instance type t2 micro I could have just said cloud form key right here but I'm just showing this to build up on what we did so ref key name says that I want to reference the key name logical name so where we where do we find the key name key name is right here so I want what's the default value of key name cloud form key you know so instead of all this I could have just said cloud form key this is the key that I have created but you know for now let's leave it as this instance type is t2 micro that's simple you probably know t2 micro um, image ID this is the AMI I've hard-coded this once again I could have made everything in the parameters but this is the simple the simplest way of building up so I want to build up like this in the future we'll have a lot more parameters now network interfaces is a section in simple EC2 instance where we can describe a lot more things like group set this is the set of uh, security groups who we will be using and if you don't know we can use we can have more than one security group on an instance so the the therefore set and we are referencing a simple instance SG and where do we find this right here so simple instance SG is type EC2 security group and since it's inside resources we are creating this as well so we are creating this and the properties of the security group we say that 
description is just optional um, VPC ID we hard code this so I'm saying that I want this security group to be created under this VPC security group ingress uh, protocol TCP from port 22 to port 22 cider IP 0000, 0, 0, 0, 0 so this is an actual template and let's see what this does uh, okay so I wanna go back and change my directory to EC2 okay so I have these things in EC2 and I wanna create a stack so I'm gonna um, go to the history create a stack and I'm gonna say the stack name is my uh, instance template body is going to be uh, sim Simplified. What? Simplified EC2 dot txt. Okay, so our stack is created successfully. That's awesome. But this is only the half part. Okay, we uh, we don't know if a rollback will happen. And like I said earlier, rollback is when something doesn't go right and everything that was being created that has been successfully created will be rolled back and nothing will exist anymore so uh, everything has to go right so in my example I was creating security group and EC2 instance let's say my security group was successfully created but my EC2 instance was not then both of those things will be rolled back and deleted and the stack will still be there but the resources will be deleted so let's check on our um, our progress we want to go back to cloud formation okay so my instance and as you can see create complete if we come back to the events you can see create in progress uh, security group was in progress security group completed instance was in progress instance is completed I want to go to my EC2 instance and check one running instance nice and as you can see it's just initializing so it is um, um, simple instance sc was the name of the security group we created obviously added my instance on front but anyways that's how we deploy an ec2 with by with an ec2 uh, with us uh, um, with a cloud formation template and quickly like i promised uh, what I'm gonna do is go to this file and instead of this default value I'm gonna remove this default value I'm gonna save this as um, huh, it's not letting me save as okay no problem we will we will go to this and we will create one more stack I'm gonna call this my instance one the template can remain the same and let's see what it does okay now it says it's saying an error occurred when calling the stack creation parameters key name must have values so when I did not have a default like I did here what I need to do is I need to pass parameters when I you know when I create the stack so what I'm gonna do is say parameters um, so key name equals um, what was that I think this is the this is the way huh oh yeah of course So parameter key equals key name parameter value equals cloud form key. Let's see if this is the right way. Okay, yeah. So um, I'm a bit rusty on this too, but I you know this worked. So all you have to do is say parameters. Uh, everything same way as the last example but you add the parameters 
parameter key calls key name because um, we have the key name that's missing and parameter value equals cloud form key that's what I had right here right so uh, so I'm gonna save this for future but anyways the stack was created now let's go back to our cloud formation and check if this everything was created properly so I'm gonna go back to cloud formation hopefully there's no rollbacks so it is complete and just to verify let's go to EC2 and there we go two instances running okay so um, uh, now I could delete them because I don't need them but what I'm gonna do is show you let's go back okay this is not working so I'm gonna say cloud formation okay so I'm going to delete the first stack um, I can only delete one at a time so delete stack delete I'm gonna delete my instance stack from here delete now the last stack that I created my instance one stack what I want to do is AWS well so I wanna reuse this piece of code and use it to delete okay so I don't need all this when I delete all I need is the stack name and I need to modify this instead of create I do delete so this is the way to delete it through CLI and AWS formation oops cloud formation what uh, AWS cloud for oh stacks okay so we're checking now what stacks we have okay so the only stacks that we have is um, see it's delete in progress so we can check on the progress of what what stacks we have so uh, this is the second example that I did I'm gonna do the third example in the upcoming video so uh, look out for that check that out um, I'll see you in the next video